Hi, my name's Viv Collier-Vickers and I'm a hornist in the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. I'd like to talk a little bit about posture. As all of you would know, being musicians, that posture is very important. And quite often we do rehearsals that are three hours long. If you've got a band or orchestra rehearsal, you know it's going to be about three hours long. As a professional, and if you're on workshops, you can be playing all day. So you are literally sitting, hugging an instrument, whether it be this one or the plethora of other instruments in the orchestra or the bands, you are holding it in that position, which means that your muscles are static in that position also. So what I would like to say from the outset about posture is whenever you're not playing, just try and move your muscles all the time, particularly your shoulders. As a horn player and other instruments, your shoulders are very important because you're often lifting and that's where a lot of the weight is. So a couple of exercises I would do would be lift them up and then drop them down. So try and do a couple of exercises when you're not playing. The main thing is about the horn with posture is, a, is as a beginner student, particularly when they're little and I have year fives, so they're very little people. And when they pick up an instrument, it can be a little bit daunting as to how to hold it. So their natural tendency is to, because they're so small, is to go like that. So the main thing I always say to students is, don't you go to the horn, let the horn go to you. So if you're sitting symmetrically, doesn't matter whether your back's in the chair, I don't think, or you're sitting forward on your chair. It's, that isn't so much the problem because that can be just where you feel comfortable sitting on a seat. Some people like to have that arch support in, their, in their, the small of their back, some people don't. So that's just depending on your own choice. But certainly when it comes to starting kids off, I would always make sure that you're sitting and I try and rather than sitting up straight because that what happens is their chest tends to jut, jut out and their shoulders go back, which is not what we want either. I try and think of putting their hair, elongating their head, pointing towards the ceiling and it elongates their spine upwards. And as soon as they're in that and the rest of their uh, upper torso area is relaxed, then bring the instrument to you. And as you can see, it's quite symmetrical that way. If you're a very small player, they will generally have, want, need to put it on their knee because, uh, because it's heavy, mainly is because it's heavy. So I will get those players to sit a little bit almost diagonally on their chair so that the corner of the chair is between their legs. They can move that, uh, that uh, right leg out and they can sit it there and still play with, general symmet with symmetry in their upper torso area. The main thing is not to turn your head like that. Make sure that your head is straight and your neck is straight and your spine is straight and the horn goes to you. Um, but as I said, some people like to rest it on their knees. The younger players will always want to rest it on their knees. But as they get bigger and obviously musclier and taller and all the rest of it, then they can start to lift it off their knee. But generally, in terms of posture, don't you go to the instrument. Let the instrument go to you. So you've got good posture and the instrument goes to you and also try and manage the elbow action here, which sometimes can get a bit flappy. So just tell the students it's either like that, they tend to hold it rigid in there, don't do that. Just nice and relaxed elbows and shoulders and generally the entire chest area needs to be relaxed for, for good uh, respiratory mechanisms to work properly so that we can breathe properly. When you're standing, it's much the same. The instrument, it may not be completely in front of you. It might be slightly diagonal, but your body is straight. That's the main thing. And in an orchestra where I sit, the conductor will be over there. So sometimes I have to sit on that part of the chair and just slightly turn my torso towards the conductor. But everything still is straight and in proportion. I'm really only bending at the hips and moving my upper torso area. My feet are both flat on the floor, perhaps one foot slightly in front of the other so that you have a nice balance. But generally, same thing. Stand up straight, elongate your spine towards the ceiling and then bring the horn to you. And that's pretty good posture. 
Uh, we in the Queensland Symphony Orchestra are all teachers, so we're very happy to field any questions that you might have. You can email the orchestra and they will forward them on to us and we're most certainly happy to explain anything further. Thanks so much. I'm Vivian Collier-Vickers from the Queensland Symphony Orchestra.